You may say that the most important character is Iron Man, and you wouldn't be wrong. After all, it was his movie that kickstarted the MCU, and by extension caused Nick Fury to create the Avengers 20 years after his interaction with Captain Marvel. He's also the reason why they could bring back half of the population in the universe by discovering time travel, and ultimately it was his sacrifice that caused the Avengers to gain victory over Thanos. Conversely, you could also say that Thanos is the most important character, since his quest to find the Infinity Stones had tied together the fate of all the Avengers. Speaking of fate, you could also say he who remains is the most important character in the MCU since he wrote out everything that was going to happen, everything all the way up to the Loki season 2 finale. But all of these options are nothing. They are specks of dust compared to this most important character, Stan the Manly. Besides the obvious reason that he created Marvel Comics, which in turn leads to the MCU, he's also the most important character in the MCU since he is the only actor to have played 38 different MCU roles, including his cameos in the MCU multiverse. No other MCU actor has done that. The most any other actor in the MCU has played is two maybe three. So what makes Stan Lee so special that he has played 38 different characters? Well it's because he's the one above all. The one above all is essentially the top of the top of the MCU. There is no being higher than him or more powerful than him. His power trumps the likes of the Living Tribunal, Eternity or even Infinity. His main weapon is love. Every time we see Stan Lee, we are excited to see him, showing our love to him. And though he has passed away, his cameos still hold a special place in all of our hearts. However, in the MCU, he seems to be the only person to know where exactly each of the conflicts of the various heroes is happening. And in some cases, these conflicts take place during the same point in time, but in the opposite corners of the universe. And so how can he be at two places at once? However, if he is the one above all, then he can, since there is no known limit to his powers. Now, in the comics, the one above all once took the form of Jack Kirby to meet and encourage the Fantastic Four after the death of the Thing. So it isn't completely absurd to say that Stan Lee is the one above all, plus he can take many forms, like how Stan Lee has taken many forms in the MCU. And this is why Stan Lee is the most important character in the MCU.